As I have shown you on SMACNA, we have tables for each pressure classification or each static pressure classification of the duct. So let's use duct number one to get the reinforcement or the duct sheet metal thickness and the gauge required for example for a duct of 50 centi by 30 centi or 20 inch by 12 inch. I'm going to go through the duct dimension first column. The 20 inch is laying here, so I go to the, neck, the next or the second column, which is the no reinforcement required. I can use 24 gauge duct sheet metal thickness for the 20 inch. For the 12 inch, I can use 26 gauge if required. And there is no reinforcement required in here. However, if the duct size is bigger, let's say 36 by 20, I can go to 36. This will give me the option to use if I don't want to use reinforcement, I can use gauge 18. If I will use reinforcement, this will increase the gauge a little bit, given that I need to follow the reinforcement class of E in here or D in the case of 5 feet spacing or in the case of 2 feet spacing, I can use C. However, if I don't want to use reinforcement, I can go with 18, uh, gauge 18. And the height, which is the second dimension of the duct, the 20 inch, I can use gauge 24 without reinforcement or if I want to use reinforcement I can increase the gauge to gauge 26 giving the 5 feet reinforcement spacing I can use reinforcement C26 and in this method and this mechanism you can go through the pressure classification the static pressure classification of your system you can get the sheet metal requirement and the pressure gauge requirement and the reinforcement if they are required or no for any duct.